At ease, at ease. Shalom, shalom, most high Christ bless, bro. What's your name? Tiptoe, man. Who? Prince. Prince? Yeah. All right, Prince, I'm Nehemiah. Nice to meet you. What's up, brother? Thank What's you. going on with you, man? Uh, uh, so you are uh, you enjoying what you're hearing thus far? Oh, oh praises, oh, praises, man. Do you know that, uh, do you know Christ is a black man? Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. No doubt in my mind. I called him. Oh, right yes, sir. Yes, sir. You do? Uh, if I asked you so, if I, if I didn't know, or if you had, like, grandchildren or children, where would you go to prove that? First off, the Bible. Right, where? Other uh, where in the Bible is what I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you out. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, you, you, yeah. you, what's that? What does it say? Revelation 1, 14, yeah. 15. Right, did you know that before you seen that, though? Not right off hand, but I, but I have written. I'm going to share that with you, all right? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah, man. Get that for me, bro. Yes, sir. This is so you can show yeah. your people. You know what I'm saying? You got, you can prove, you can back this up. Proof yeah, all yeah, things yeah. is what the Bible says. You got to be, you got it, bro? Yeah, uh, start at one. Yes, sir. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse one of Jesus Christ. Okay, start right there. What does the word, what does uh, reveal mean? That's the. Right, right, right. So this right here, this scripture is stating that they're, they're going to reveal Christ, how Christ look. Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ, okay. which God gave unto him. To show to on to, to show right. unto his servants huh? things which must shortly come to pass. Okay, go to fourteen. Yes, sir. Same book. Verse fourteen. Huh? His head huh? and his hairs huh? were white like wool. So his hairs on his head were white, white in color, woolly, woolly texture, like you got a white beard. No. Gray, white, right? Woolly texture. That's our yeah, people. Like That's right. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning Christ drank wine, read, in moderation, read. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet. Is what? His feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. Just like you said, brother, fine brass. But as what? What color brass? How, how, how dark was the brass? As if they burned in a furnace. Okay, now check this out. How, how do you signify? How, how do you signify something's been burnt? How can you tell something's been burnt? Black. Right. So Christ was a very dark skinned man. Right? That's right. Not, not this, not this, That's right. Not this prisoner right here. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Not this. But this is what the church teach our people. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And do you know what else comes up under this right here? The holidays, July 4th, yeah, Memorial Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Bring it out, bring it out. Do you celebrate those brothers? What about birthdays? Birthday, I do my birthday. I don't know much about that. Okay. But them holidays, no Easter, none of that. Easter, no, no, no Thanksgiving. None of mama's turkey, huh? No. Not my mama's business. Okay. Another meal, that's about it. All right, all right. Give me a you, bro. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Who speak? The Lord speaketh unto you. Okay, you listen to bro? Check this out. O house of Israel. Who? O house of Israel. The chosen people who are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are known as the children of Israel. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. So the Most High is telling us it's something in particular that we're not supposed to do that the heathen take part in. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because you have... People who uh, who follow what's some things called astrology, astrology and uh, what's some things zodiac signs and all that all that craziness, right? Read. Our people are, are, are trapped in this madness as well. Read. For the heathen uh -huh. are dismayed at them. Read. For the customs, the customs, traditions, holidays, those of that sort. Read. Of the people are vain. They are what? Are vain. Which means they are lies. All right. Read. For what? Cut of a tree. Now the Most High is going into, um, he's going into, he's going into a custom. He's describing a custom right now. So we'll start read that again from the top. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, they deck it with silver and with gold. What does that sound like, bro? What holiday does that sound like? I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it again, okay? Listen, read. Verse 3. Uh -huh.
But the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree. Uh, there you go. What is the mo what did the most I say in reference to that? Read that. <clears throat> Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Right. So the most high is telling us not to take part in those things. You understand what I'm saying? Go to uh Second Maccabees. Uh -huh. Chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. Which is today, read. Or ancient feasts. That, that the feast that the Most High ordained, all right? Read. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So the Israelites were not, was not able to confess or to uh, profess themselves as Jews. We had to convert our ways to be the ways of the Celebrating Christmas and things of that nature, right? Verse 7. Uh -huh. And in the day of the king's birth, uh -huh. every month, they were brought by bitter constraints. They were bought, brought by bitter constraints, so it was against their will, right? They was forced to do these things, right? To eat of the sacrifices. Uh -huh. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus, carrying ivy. Uh, Moreover, there went out a decree. So did these, uh, these, these are heathen. They say they made laws for us not to um, profess ourselves as Jews, or they made laws to where it was to the point to where we had to observe these things by, by force. But we do this. now we partake these things willingly. You understand what I'm saying? Our people, our forefathers, was killed behind this, not wanting to. Um, to participate in the ways of the heathen. You understand what I'm saying? But today, it's not no more learning. We already, we were serious with this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? That's why we had to come and uproot these, uh, these, uh, these strongholds that are on our people. You understand what I'm saying? Keep reading. <clears throat> Verse eight. Uh -huh. Moreover, there went out a decree uh -huh. to the neighbor cities of the heathen, of the heathen. by the suggestion of Ptolemy uh -huh. against the Jews. Against who? Against the Jews. Read that they should observe the same fashions uh -huh. and be partakers of their sacrifice. So we were made, we was brought bitterly by, what is it, bitterly constraint? By bitter, by bitter, reading. by bitter constraint. What? Excuse me. What to eat of the sacrifices. So at the beginning of the verse, it said in the day of the king's birth, the king was celebrating his birthday. So that was never joyous for us. You understand what I'm saying? We was made to keep that. We was made to eat those sacrifices that the that the of the abominable animal or the things the unclean thing that we were that was ordained for us not to eat because we're God's chosen people. You know we're set apart. We're not supposed to take part in all this all this foolishness out here. Go to uh, Leviticus 19, said 27, right? 26. 26. Uh, yeah, I'm it's yeah, right in time. Read that for me, bro. This. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 26. Three. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, uh -huh. neither shall ye use enchantment, uh -huh. nor observe times. Now, birthdays, that's observing the time, right? You counting the years, how many days you've been here on this earth, correct? Right? right? Read that again. Verse 26. Uh -huh. Ye shall not you eat. Go read again. Ye shall not eat. Yeah. Eat anything with the blood. That goes into eating raw food. Anything with blood, like raw, like the, the heathen, they love to eat they steak. I'm sorry. They love to eat they steak raw or medium well. It's well done for us. No blood is supposed to be in that, in that thing. Sushi. You're not supposed to partake in none of that. Read it again from the beginning. Ye shall not eat anything uh -huh. with the blood. Uh -huh. Neither shall ye use enchantment uh -huh. nor observe times. Bro, we're not supposed to participate in none of that, that madness, bro. You understand what I'm saying? That that's the heathen's custom. So when it comes to when it comes to that type that that point and your birthday is coming back around, none of the brothers here celebrate their birthdays, bro. Right, right, I, right. I forgot what, what my, my age of my kids, bro. You understand what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure the brothers run here the same way. They don't hide. I, I ask my brother all the time, man. He was like, hey man, how old am I? I, said, I don't know. 
But we sit there and we have to calculate it just to keep up. But we're not sitting there waiting on that thing. You know what I'm saying? We're not sitting there idolizing ourselves, making ourselves a God that day. Right. Everybody giving that person money. Everybody, right. hey, pin that dollar on me. You understand what I'm saying? Giving me gifts. Everybody's worshiping me. You're turning yourself into a God, bro, when you sit there and honor yourself on that day. You understand what I'm saying? I, all days, bro, just be blessed. To, just be grateful to the most I still got breath in your lungs right now. Not just that one day. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, go to Leviticus 23. Yes, sir. These are the days that we're supposed to worship. These are the, the high holy days that the, that the most high God gave us. You understand what I'm saying? Not these man-made pagan holidays. We're supposed to take honor and worship in these days that the, that the Father had given us. You understand that? Read. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 23, verse 1. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, uh -huh. say, speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and say unto them, right. concerning the feast, concerning the feast of the Lord, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, uh -huh. even these are my feasts. For the most high, holy convocations is a gathering of us. We come together and we serve the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? We worship the Lord. We exhort our brothers and our sisters. You understand what I'm saying? Because what we, we like the barbecue. You understand what I'm saying? We don't do it on the Sabbath, but we do it on these days that the Lord said and proclaimed. You understand what I'm saying? Or ordained. Read. Verse 3. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of rest. That's right. And holy convocation. Uh, what? And holy convocation. So you understand that, bro. That's the Sabbath. Right, right. You got six. You got six days to do your work, right? To serve. Read. Read it again. Verse six, verse three. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath day. Excuse me. It, but the Sabbath day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of rest. Right. And holy convocation. Mm -hmm. Ye so do no work. The father said do no work. Do no work. Now we out here doing the work of the Lord, but we're not getting paid for this. You understand? Know and we don't we're not here seeking anyone's money either. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So we out here doing the Lord's work. Like it's it's you're not supposed to be here working in these stores or you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever you do, cutting grass, things of that nature. You ain't supposed to be doing that, bro. This is the day of rest that the most high have to plan. Read uh go keep reading. Verse three. Uh -huh. Ye shall do no work therein. Uh -huh. It is the Sabbath of the Lord uh -huh. in all your dwellings. Read. Verse 4. Uh -huh. These are the feasts of the Lord, uh -huh. even holy convocations, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Read. In the fourteenth day uh -huh. of the first month uh -huh. at even is the Lord's Passover. Have you ever heard of the Passover? Heard of it. You heard of the Passover? It's the first day. Ye shall have an holy convocation. Right. Ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire. Made by what? Made by fire. The grill. Unto the Lord seven days. Right. In the seventh day is an holy convocation. Uh -huh. Ye shall do no servile work therein. That's not right there. Whole book of Leviticus 23 go through the... Um, the feast, the days concerning the Lord, right? The days that we're, the, the, the high holy days that we're supposed to partake in. We got way, it's way more high holy days than these man-made, these man-made pagan holidays that we're, we're trapped up under these days. Now you see the true of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
Cause I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how I walk, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.